Psychology is the study of human behavior and mental processes. So that includes a wide range of things. It includes, yes, helping people recover from mental illness and helping to diagnose mental illness, but it also includes just how people act. Our psychology program has been growing immensely over the past, I'd say, seven years uh, since I started here. So we are happy about the popularity of our program, uh, whether that's due to need uh, outside or whether that's just due to the um, fantasticness, I'll make up that word there, of the psychology faculty. The psychology department here is fantastic for a lot of different reasons. Number one reason is the students. Our students are amazing in a lot of different ways. They're, they're so passionate, they're so committed. They're, they're good students, just in the sense of their intellectual ability, but they're also service-minded and civic-minded. Since we have such a small school, we really have like a close-knit community in the psychology department, and I find that all of my professors are really passionate about psychology, and so, you know, when they walk into a classroom, they bring this passion and they bring this energy that is contagious to us, you know, even if it's just an intro to psych, you know, you're a freshman, you're kind of nervous, but when they come in and they start talking, you know, it's what they love and you start to love it as well. We all learn our students' names the first week of class. I like my students to call me by my first name, so that's just the level that I, that I see myself as with the students. This is a place where they will notice you're absent, they care about you, and want to make sure that your well-being is up to par. We do a lot of service learning components, experiential learning, where part of the class is actually getting out in the community, um, you know, learning about a particular population, um, doing something good that is also at the same time going to benefit your knowledge in the area of psychology. There's of course the classes, but there's also a lot of out-of-class opportunities. We have internships for students where they earn credit for doing the internships in the community, which are uh, work placement positions basically. And we have those in several different areas from therapeutic horse riding to working with older adults with Alzheimer's. There's a wide variety of options there. You can go and you can go work with elderly people and child development you get your own virtual child so you can see if you'd like to work with elderly people or you like to work with children like when you actually become a psychologist. We got to go to this place called NW Works here in Winchester and work with people with different intellectual disabilities and disabilities so you learn how to not only apply what you learn in the classroom but how to interact with different people. I took a class with Dr. Carlson, which really focused on uh, helping those with intellectual disabilities, providing them with jobs and whatnot, and working with them, and I enjoyed that immensely. I'm leaving a class that's going to the country of Fiji this May, and that's all oriented around the psychology of happiness, and we're going to study why is Fiji allegedly the happiest place on earth, and what is it about the culture down there that makes people so happy. A lot of times students will go in for advising appointments and it may just be about, you know, what classes am I going to take this semester and, you know, it's just like let's check the boxes and, you know, send you on your way. And I really think that at Shenandoah University uh, with the psychology faculty, we really do sit down with our students and continue that conversation about what do you think you want to do when you get out of here, you know, what kinds of careers or, you know, if you were planning on studying um, further. Uh, but in terms of higher education, what can we do to put you in that right position to get you to your goals? Almost every week we get an email about different job opportunities in the Winchester area and that's something that I don't think I get at such a large school um, because people know that you know, with Shenandoah we have a good psychology department and they know that our professors give us the information that we need and the skills that we need to be good workers and employees and that's just outside things that you know you can learn these things in the classroom but you really know that you're comfortable with the material once you take it outside of the class and you're successful. For students who are maybe just ready to get out with a bachelor's uh, in psychology, there are a lot of jobs that they can get because the stuff that you learn in psychology is applicable to so many different fields. You learn about writing, you learn about being a, you know, a good consumer of information, a critical consumer of information. There's a lot of stuff that happens in our courses that requires students to go way beyond just memorizing material for the exam. Um, but rather we're trying to teach them skills that are obviously going to take them through their lifetime and be uh, advantageous to their careers. <laughs>